Welcome to the wild west coast of Australia. We are about to embark on a journey of a lifetime, tackling not only remote four-wheel drive tracks, but heading offshore, pushing the new sea to the limit to help us reach some of the most remote places that you have ever seen. Vast stretches of untouched coastline, spectacular islands, and of course, fishing in places that people could only dream of. Welcome to the wild west coast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the northernmost point of Durkartog Island. We start ourselves today in the beautiful Turtle Bay. We just went out for a spearfish and had one of the best spearfishing sessions that I've ever had. We've got all these fish here right behind me and I'm about to walk you through the story of what we got up to today. It was absolutely incredible. I'm just gonna start filleting these fish here. When we started the day today, we actually started at Cape Inscription. We drove all the way down to the block, which is this massive bit of rock it sits up on the land there that it said that it actually got washed up there by a tsunami. But with no luck fishing there after casting for a little while, we're just watching the whales offshore there. Literally whales just coming out in front of us as we fish on this bank here. I can't even speak, that is nuts. We ended up heading back to Cape Inscription where we had a spearfish and where we did quite well. The walk down to Cape Inscription is right down this really steep cliff. It's quite some shaly rocky area. To get down there is an effort in itself, but once we got down there in the water, it was absolutely beautiful. The viz was so clear, and when we got in there, Alex here, my cousin, actually shot his very, very first fish, which he's actually filleting right now. So your first fish, Alex, talk us through us, what happened? Yeah, so we're just cruising around um, in the shallows, actually it was, and not really looking for much at that stage, just seeing what was around, and yeah, this little dog came swimming past and couldn't resist it, so got him, and yeah, here we are now, filling it up for dinner. <laughs> Good shit. Your spearfishing virginity has finally been lost. Oh, it's good, it's good. So I couldn't be happier. Oh, whale out the back, that is crazy. It's hard to film out here, right? With the amount of whales and stuff, they put on quite a show for them. There was so much marine life out there today. There was actually this one section that Will and I went out a little bit deeper together. Will's behind the camera doing some great work. So as we've gone out a little bit deeper there, we actually both looked at each other because we heard this really, really loud whale call. And when we looked up, this splash was right next to us. You guys will see by the footage at the moment. so g'd up for the rest of this dive but as we came around the corner i went down and i'm pretty sure this is the exact fish right here that i actually shot I'll show you guys right now Reef is just absolutely beautiful out here. So many different colours, so many different types of fish that live and congregate through there and such a cool little breeding ground. We saw so many juvenile fish. When we were down there, I actually managed to shoot this beautiful little Rankin cod here, which is actually the first time I've ever shot one, which is pretty cool. one of the best dives that we've ever had but we've come a bit further around now from Cape Inscription to Turtle Bay. We're based on a camp up there which has got to be one of the best camps that I've ever seen. So once we've filleted these fish and to cook up an absolute storm for dinner, go for a bit of an explore 
and tomorrow our plan is to jump in the cars and go back to where the jet skis are at the homestead and go for an explore out there. And let me tell you, it's going to be absolutely insane. So make sure you stick around for that. One bedroom flat, I lock the door and put that photo of her on the floor. Been here for hours, it's getting dark and we did everything and nothing at all. And I should leave, cause this is bad. Your hands make up for the love we don't have. As soon as we arrived back at the homestead, we decided to launch the skis and head towards the southernmost point of Dirkar Togolan, as I had a big goal to spearfish Steep Point. Steep Point is a pristine spot and I've been told it holds a large amount of fish life. Steep Point also happens to be the most westerly part of Australia. Its never-ending cliff faces meet the Indian Ocean, creating some of the most insane ocean that I have ever seen. It wasn't long before we trekked across the beautiful turquoise water on the sea and jumped in for a spearfish to try and find some dinner. That is the end of our insane mission over on Dirk Hartog Island. It has been some of the best boating, camping and fishing that I have ever done. We want to formally thank the Wardle family for letting us on the island and also all of the sponsors involved. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on our next adventure.